Swartz, this is P900 footage, minus 28 degrees. I was walking on the balcony and the little pieces of snow from my boots that remained on the balcony had not even frozen. I got a lot of footage of there and this is wide focal length applied to a P900 so the image is a lot closer and a lot wider. So I'm not zoomed in with the P900, I'm just um, about at 600, 700 millimeters, but such a beautiful view of the surface. You know, the P900, I do enjoy it, but the browns, you know, it's always this color. And I, like other cameras, you can get the color more in uh, the photos like this. It's, with a P900, it is very hard to get the surface greenery. And speaking of greenery, we are going to see some live footage with uh, the 14 inch footage. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I think a few of you did get me wrong. Um, well, very few, but a few of you did get me wrong saying, oh, he's reposting the same 15 minute footage. In 15 minutes of footage, I've made over 40 videos. I've never showed the same footage, nor have I ever showed it the same way. I can angle on Aristarchus Crater, like you see here at the bottom right, that white glowing dot there, the mining pit, right? I can zone into there and um, keep the quality and then pan around in that area and it's what I've been doing with the footage. So be reassured that when I'm showing you guys footage, it's never been re-uploaded. -up Why the heck would I? I don't have to. There's so much up there to see. So much things to do with that footage. And whether I got the moon or not, which I did not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean I don't have moon footage. I have more than enough moon footage. Guys, 86 hours, okay, with the four inch. And with the 14 inch, I have in all 45 minutes and some it's, you know, shaky or whatever. And then I slow it down, then I get more footage in it. And then I find a structure and then I zoom into the structure. And this is what I do. Look at the clarity of the 1400, the 1400 HD telescope. I'm so happy that I did it because all the lines that we're seeing, um, and look at the pipes, bottom center of your screen, you could see that gray patch with the lines going over it, structures, not seen as well, outlining in detail, um, as are these lights behind Plato Crater, transient lunar phenomenon. Hey guys, have you heard? NASA canceled the moon. Yeah, everything. All the mission that was supposed to go up, you know, 2022, well, that's it, it's out. And you know what? How long could they do this, right? Because in 2022 or 2025, they could say, well, uh, we got the date, 2030, it's sure. But then poof, something's gonna happen, one of Elon Musk's, uh, I don't know. Rockets is going to veer off and head to Mars instead and then ricochet off the car that's floating there. Right. Okay. You never know what's going to go on. So NASA did cancel um, the moon. Um, what am I looking for? The, the word mission, I guess you can call it. Uh, I don't know. It's a, a project, if you want. A major project. Of course, they're not going to go on the moon unless they're, you know, dealing with the people that are already there. There is someone on the surface of the moon. And guess what? There is color on the surface. And that purple we are seeing is the atmosphere in the air. That's definitely what we're seeing. There's no other way ab about it. The surface is filled with colors, filled with anomalies and structures and whatnot. And now I'm finding colors and more uh, areas. These are shots with the 14 inch telescope. Check this out. See that? On the top right here, there's structuring, pipes. We can see them, but they are the same reflectivity as the surface. And when we zoom up to the corner here, you can clearly see that there are white lines on the surface and they're very symmetrical. And those are either corridors 
or constructed objects, that's for sure. No matter what they may be used for, they are constructed. Now, we can't look away from these uh, photos, these blurry photos. They're clouds or smoke or haze. You could see the piping, the tunnelization all over the surface. Ejecta doesn't run up and down over mountains like that, okay, in straight paths. I can't say it enough, guys. The anomalies on the surface are on top, sitting on top of a green surface. We are seeing smog, smoke, industrial smoke, clouds, both. I don't know. It's definitely there. We could be seeing some of the colored areas could be green, blue gases also without ruling that out, of course. Are there that many channels posting both out there? I don't think so. I didn't think so. Most of the channels that I've seen about space are very real. I'm not going to get into that other channel, Mr. Walson. Very big problem with your channel and what I'm seeing on other websites. Not too happy about what you're doing, trying to do to my community, Mr. Walson. I suggest that you immediately stop or I promise you, your subs will continue to go down because they will see the stupidity that you're doing. Just do your thing and I'll do mine. For Pete's sakes. Guys. Look what we're looking at. We're looking at surface color, atmosphere, greenery, purples in the sky. Not in the surface, in the sky. There are some on the surface, but here we're seeing it in the sky. Like a light from heaven. Over top, hiding clouds and green surfaces, green tops. We're going to go see another city. I love this. There is structuring. There's a pipe here on the right, first of all. Can you see it? No, I'm not going to get an arrow up for the pipe. You could clearly see it. Over and under the two black spots on the right there, you could see a line or bar going up and down. If you continue upwards, you can see strands going across like bridges that are over darkness. These are the cities. We're looking at clouded, industrialized, probably smoke, uh, from the industries here and people are saying well why is it hazy why is it blurry well it's a very very clear shot that I zoomed up in it's blurry yes it's there's a haze on the surface we're seeing great proof of the surface constructed objects this is just proof see the nice gray hazes here and there look at the geometrical shapes that are underneath them we're going to go see some other photos here and we're gonna go see a lot of geometrical shapes look like Lego blocks and people are understanding that they're thinking it's pixels pixels are one layer my friends they are not um, 90 degree angles and various objects on the surface that are on different elevated levels as we will see here we'll change photos there's a bit further out and when we do <laughs> I love seeing the colors There's greenery we're looking at a green surface with many, many, many clouds over top or smoke or haze. Look at this. Feast your eyes. We're looking at green around the right. We'll go back to it, don't worry, because there's just too much to see. And cities on the left. Those ejecta-like rounded objects, when you get in close, I clarify them as much as I could, and look, there's connections to and from them. These are platformed, constructed objects probably building like objects bottom right you can see monolithic objects down there there are objects on the surface we're seeing also color and greenery amongst that aside from that i'm finding ufos um, on the surface so when we get more footage but there's all this to look at there's a bridge down there many bridges on the surface of the moon uh, many astronomers are overlooking at it probably uh, all of you are overlooking this Look at what we're looking at. No, I don't even want to hear your pixelated bullshit. Look dead center. We're looking at structures, structuring objects, whatever they may be. They are geometrically shaped and we're going to continue finding more.